even though it technically isn't spring yet, I am ready to just pretend like it's spring. I just wanna talk about spring. I want to just celebrate all the spring things. I am ready for spring flowers, even though they kill my allergies. I'm ready for spring fragrances. I'm ready for spring fashion, even though I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit into any of my spring clothes right now. <laughs> I am most of all ready for spring makeup because let's face it, spring is just one of those fun times that we can start feeling, I don't know, like almost like fresh, revived. I love a little bit of bright color, those like soft pastels too. I think spring is honestly one of my favorite times of year when it comes to makeup, just because it's when I start like pulling a little bit more color into my makeup wardrobe. Although let's be honest, I, I pretty much wear color almost every day. I just feel like there's a certain energy to spring makeup. It's like fresh and fun and flirty and I am here for it. So what better way to celebrate the oncoming of spring than to share with you my top 10 eyeshadow palettes for spring. I know last fall I did a top 10 shadow palettes for fall and I thought I would do the same with spring because we never get tired of hearing about eyeshadow palettes, right? And I thought that this would be a great way to go through my collection and really inspire myself to pull out some of these this spring as well because I think that that's what happens sometimes if you're a makeup lover like me and you have some palettes in a drawer some of them get pushed to the back and then you kind of forget that you have them so this was a really helpful way to, for me to open these up play with them a little bit and you know really decide that I need to keep them out where I can grab them this spring now if we haven't met my name is Kelly and I am a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel I strive to keep beauty real real honest real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So what I thought I would do for this video, rather than just share with you the eyeshadow palettes, what I thought I would do is maybe go through and swatch a color story. So sort of like put together swatches for an eye look. I'm not going to do those eye looks today, but what I thought I would do is maybe do a little fun like series on Instagram. So that way I can like use each of these palettes for an eye look using the combination that we talked about. If you're not following me over there, I really encourage you to do so. I really enjoy getting to touch base with all of you and have a little bit more of a conversation. You can find me at Keep Beauty Real and I would love to see you there. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I am going to share with you my top 10 shadow palettes for spring. Let's go. All right, I don't think that I'm going to do these in any particular order. Yeah, I don't think there's like a number one and a number 10. I think I'm just gonna share with you all of the top ones. However, this one, I wanna put a little disclaimer on just because I have just started tiptoeing into using this one, but I have enjoyed it so far. So this is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. I just used this for the first time on my channel in a recent video and I've really been enjoying it. Now, this of course is that beautiful all green palette. So I know for the video that I recently did, I only used three of these shades in here, but I really did love the way that the look turned out. I haven't used BH Cosmetics in a really long time. So I'm inspired by this color story. I do wanna play with it a little bit more, but I definitely have a lot more that I could do with this. So this one is gonna go in my pile to use a little bit more. If you have it, I encourage you to pull it out and play with it because gosh, these colors are, are really just like a monochromatic, like Easter spring vibe. Like I could just see this like in an Easter basket, totally. Now I will go ahead and link the video that I did using this palette so that you guys can check out that eye look if you'd like to. But since I know what I did in that video, I need to pick other shades to use for our next look, right? So let me swatch those and we can talk about it. All right, I don't know why I always wear these like long sleeved tops when I'm doing swatching. Actually, I'm not even wearing a top. I'm wearing a dress, you guys, and you don't even get to see it. I'm actually wearing a dress. Uh, I had to teach a class today and I thought I would like get a little fancier, but that's one of the pros and cons about doing YouTube is you don't see it when I'm not dressed up on the bottoms, but you also don't see it when I am. All right, so here are my awkwardly placed swatches. We have the shade Dessert and Guilty Pleasure and Cone or Cup. So I really like how that dessert shade on top has that sort of like mint chocolate chip ice cream shade. And I enjoy how this darkest shade, that's Cone or Cup, it has almost like a tealy shift to it. So while there are some definite like green green shades in here, you have some shades that are like off green. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna pull out an oldie bit of goodie and I'm sure a lot of you have this one in your collection. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. You guys can see, I used to travel with this one a lot. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like very bowed. So I do appreciate the tin packaging on this because it has definitely protected my shadows. So this one, I really think just has those like 
soft peachy shades that really work for a springy neutral look. Oh, and it still smells so good. So this one, I think, you know, again, it's sort of like, is it an exciting palette anymore? No. Does it really give you some very beautiful, very wearable, like neutral looks with like a soft peachy vibe to them? Absolutely. So what I think I'm going to do for the looks so I think what I'm gonna do for the color stories that I'm gonna show you guys is show you three shades from each palette. Just in that way, we have like a little bit of a vibe of a color story, but I have some room to play. So if I do pull in any other shades, they have to be from the palette that's chosen, but that way, you know, we can have a starting point, but I have a little bit of flexibility. So you guys can see here, I have our next three shades and we have puree starting from top. We have puree, uh, just peachy and nectar. So the thing about these is so funny. Like as I was swatching it, as I swatched that last one, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like Neapolitan ice cream. You have your chocolate, your strawberry and your vanilla. So I think this is a good starting point for, like I said, just a fun, neutral, easy to wear look. All right, another really fun palette that I think a lot of us have sitting around somewhere is the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Now, this one is truly one of my favorite ColourPop palettes. I think that Kathleen did a great job picking out these shades. The one thing that keeps me from using this palette a lot is because it's so big, it doesn't sit like propped up in my drawer. So I have to lay it like this and then it gets like piled under a bunch of different ones and then I never see it. So when I was pulling this out, I was like, oh, Yes, let's use that one. Now, I can tell you right off the bat, one of the shades is gonna be this Peridot shade. I love this. I think this shade is like the epitome of spring. I know we have some greens in the BH Cosmetics palette, but this is, this is a totally different vibe. So this is such a good one because you really have like almost the entire rainbow. It's sort of like a muted rainbow, but it is so pretty. So let's go ahead and choose out our shades for this spring look. All right, here we have the selection for the So Jaded palette. So we have Peridot on the top and then Citrine and Turquoise. I thought that this would be a good combo, especially for that like winter into spring. There's something about this, like I think it's maybe just the grunginess of that Citrine. It's like that mustard, but not like a bright, bright yellow. So I think this is gonna be a fun one. Again, I will probably pull in some other shades from this palette, but these are gonna be the stars of the show. Okay, here's one that I haven't pulled out in a long time, and I do actually really like the color story in this one. By the way, I hope I'm not giving anybody motion sickness by all the like in and out. But anyway, back to this palette. Now, I got this quite a while ago, and I, I just couldn't resist this color story. I think I saw Emily Noel use this on her channel and it was just like, it was just so different than a lot of the palettes that were out there. So this is the Lime Crime Venus XL2. Now I want to be able to like show you guys this palette without it like blinding you. Am I going to be able to do that? Okay, maybe that'll work. So I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera, but this is such a good mix of like sagey celery tones and some like dusty mauves with some warm neutrals. I think it's just, it really is that epitome of like tipping into spring. And I think that because this is all a little bit more muted, it's great when you're coming off of winter and maybe you're just looking to like tiptoe into some color before like spring is truly here. You just wanna like get that little dab of like color going on. Does that make sense? So All right, here we have our shades from the Venus XL. I don't even think that these are maybe gonna pick up on camera quite as well, but I knew right away I wanted to use this color. So this is sage and I think that that's the perfect name for it. It is that sort of like dusty sage tone. We also have in bloom, this is that really pretty like it's almost more of like a rose shade. I think it's very pretty. And then this one is radiant. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but it is a bit duochrome -y. It's sort of that like pearly color with a peach pink shift. Now I will probably end up using a couple more shades from this, of course, but these are gonna be the three that we are highlighting. This palette, it's just so pretty. If you like that sort of like muted color, this is a really nice one if you have it in your collection to go ahead and pull out. You know what is so funny is even though I am like a lover of all things shimmer, I find that for some reason I'm getting really drawn to the matte shades that are in all these palettes. I don't know what it is, but there must just be something about like, I have a feeling I'm gonna really love like that like blown out color vibe. I don't know, we'll see what I end up creating. Don't forget to head over to Instagram to see the process as it goes along. All right, so since we just had a palette that has a little bit more like dusty muted shades, let's move into something that has a bit more pop to it, shall we? Let's talk about the Uh Huh Honey palette. So this is another ColourPop one and it's 
one of my favorites. I love a good yellow eyeshadow. As you can probably tell, I didn't actually use this palette. All of the details on this look are again over on my Instagram, so you can check that out. But you guys, I love me a good yellow eyeshadow in the summertime, and this palette does not disappoint. So again, this is really pretty much all of those yellows. You do have some camel shades in here, those sort of like caramely tones just to balance this out. But this is such a quick way and fun to be able to get that bright wash of color onto the eye. So I'm really excited to pull this one out. Let's go ahead and pick our colors. All right, here we have the shades from Aha uh -huh Honey. As you can see, I went ahead and I picked the pressed glitter in the middle. That is Palooza. And then we also have this really beautiful, like, goldy yellow. Oh, it's so pretty. That is Dandy. And then we also have the shade Totally Buggin'. That's this kind of, I mean, I guess I would say it's like a warm camel shade. It definitely, like, leans into that orange a little bit. And it's so pretty. So we'll enjoy a little glitter for a bright spring moment. Okay, our next palette is another one of my favorites. And in all honesty, I think it is in another one of my palette videos. It might even be the fall one, but I think this one is so good that it should be celebrated year round. And that is the Flower Jungle Lights palette. You guys, this is so pretty. It is a full shimmer palette. You guys know that Flower Beauty is one of my favorite drugstore brands. I really have several products from them that I love, and this palette is no exception to that. So I have to say I got inspired to pull this one out when I was talking to my friend Ruby Minhas here on YouTube. We were talking on Marco Polo, I believe. I actually sent her this palette because I love it so much. I sent her a few flower beauty goodies and she was freaking out just like I am when she swatched this palette. So hopefully you guys get to see this on her beautiful face as well. I will make sure to link Rupi's channel, by the way, so that you can check her out. But you know, you gotta share the love. You know you love an item when you want all your friends to have it as well, right? Speaking of wanting my friends to have it, I have to let you guys know that I love this palette so much that this one is going into my thousand subscriber giveaway. Well, not this actual one. I've used this one. That would be gross. I am putting a brand new flower Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette into my thousand subscriber giveaway. If you want a chance to win this and all of the other things in that giveaway, make sure you're subscribed. Hopefully that one will be coming soon. We are just about to hit 900 as I am sitting down to film this. So please help girl out and subscribe. All right, so here are the shades that I have chosen for this palette. Uh, these, oh yes they do, they do have names. So we have Tiger Lily on the top. That's that beautiful like fiery copper shade. And then we have Paradise and also Wild. So I think this is gonna be a fun combination. And it's, you know, it's got a little bit of that like Mm, sort of like cooler pastel vibe from this shade here. But then with these shades, I think it just brings in a little bit that, you know, makes it like multi-seasonal. I really do think I probably pulled this one into my top 10 eyeshadow palettes for fall, but it's just so darn good. You should wear it every season. Right, moving on to the next palette. Now, this is one that is really a little bit more subdued, a lot softer, but I think that we need that sometimes in spring. So this is going to be the palette that I choose for more of that like light, soft, ethereal look. And that is gonna be the Sigma Rendezvous palette. Now this is actually from their holiday collection and it is so pretty. I found this through my friend Aileen over at A Merch Beauty and she got the whole set, I think, which I did too after seeing her on her channel. This is just a rose gold lover's dream, you guys. Like, check this out again. I'm trying not to blind you with this palette. Now, this does have some beautiful shades. It is all fairly monochromatic. I mean, you have a little bit of variation in here, but again, this is gonna be one that I can very easily pick on days where I don't have a lot of time and I just wanna get some eyeshadow on and get out and enjoy the spring weather, right? All right, here are our three shades from the Sigma Rendezvous palette. We have Moonshine on the top. Of course, I had to go for the like really pretty rose gold. Then we have Maverick, which is this really fun, like kind of taupey purple shade. And then Trist on the bottom. So I think this is gonna create like a sultry spring look. It's gonna be light, but also have a little bit of that smokiness from this shade. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Right. Our next one is a palette that I am very excited to dip into because I haven't used it enough. And that is the Saharan by Juvia's Place. You guys, this palette has some really, really pretty colors. And I know that there are a couple in here that I may have swatched, but I've never used. So I, of course, you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I'm always drawn to like, really, really warm shades like this. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe give myself one of those shades to play with, but try using the other cool tones in this palette just to really like push myself. And that's one thing that 
I'm gonna try to do within this as I've been swatching is, you know, maybe pick a couple that I know that I love as sort of that like safety net, but then use some shades that I just haven't celebrated enough. And what better way to do that than to slap it on your eye and see what you get. All right, lovelies, here are the shades that I have chosen from the Saharan palette. So <laughs> right away when I did it, I was like, oh, I hope I'm not gonna regret this decision. This is a pretty big contrast, but we can do it. I chose Kia. This shade has something really special to it. It almost has a bit of like a red brown shift under it. I don't know, it's gonna be fun to play with. I don't even know if I've ever worn it. And then we have Iman, which is this pretty shade here. It's sort of like a pearly silver, but it has some like almost purple vibe to it. And then we have Sokoto, which I know that I've used and loved this one before. I'm not sure how this is gonna come together. Maybe we'll do like a smoky eye with a pop. I don't know, we'll see, it'll be fun. If you know me and you know a little bit about my collection, you probably knew that this one was coming. Tiny Marbles from Sydney Grace. You guys know I have a love affair with Sydney Grace shadows and this Tiny Marbles palette is so pretty. This is of course the collab with the beautiful, the gorgeous, the effervescent Mel Thompson here on YouTube. And I mean, come on. How, how can we not pull this one in? This one is such a beautiful spring palette. Uh, I, I really dig this one. And honestly, you guys, I have not pulled this one out recently, which makes me sad. So this is gonna be a great time to celebrate this. All right, here we have the Tiny Marvel selections. So on the top, we have Jewel B. Now this one kind of has a story behind it. When Tiny Marvels first came out, I did a palette bingo. I will go ahead and place it up here so that you guys can see that. And I said at the beginning, the one shade that I was a little worried that I might draw is Jewel B. And that's exactly what I drew because the shade is not something that I would normally pick. That sort of like lavender, lilac, total like Easter egg shade. It's just not something that I go to on my eyes, but I did really enjoy it. Except I think that was the last time I used that shade. So I need to use it again, this time in maybe a bit softer look. I did something that for me was quite dramatic. Again, I'll make sure to link that so you guys can see that. And then we also have Web, which is this beautiful shade right here. And of course, Marvel. Now I was tempted to pull out Fire Butts, which is that beautiful like sort of silver, sort of green shade, but everybody knows and loves that color. So I wanted to pull out Marvel just to see what we could create. And then, you know, I thought it would go really well with that Jewel B shade. So I'm challenging myself to use that one again, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're getting there, you guys. I have one more palette with an honorable mention, and I'll get into that. But the last palette in my top 10 is going to be the Anastasia Prism palette. Does anybody have this? Does anybody use it anymore? Like, I I don't even remember hearing much about it on YouTube. I think it was like sort of around the time that Subculture came out and there was that whole conspiracy, so all the drama. So I think that this one just sort of got like pushed under the radar, but I think that there are some really pretty shades in here that would be great for spring. I mean, of course you guys know, I'm probably gonna pull out that like, sort of like neon yellow, almost green shade, but I think that this is really like going to be a good one to transition from winter into spring as well, because you have some beautiful deep tones. And I think that, you know, a spring look can certainly have some like smoky edge to it if you want to. So this is a great one that would maybe be a good like nighttime spring palette. I just haven't played with it in a while and I want to. So I also encourage you to pull it out if you haven't. So. Okay, so hear me out on this one because I feel like right away looking at this color story, it sort of screams like, Thanksgiving dinner tablescape, but I really want to highlight what could be beautifully neon from the shade. I think if we use a white base or, you know, something to make that pop, it's gonna be super pretty, not over my like overly wiped down arm. And then I think that this beautiful shade, by the way, this is Sphere, and then we have Eden, which is this beautiful like dusty coral shade. And I wanted to pull out something that's really nice and dark. This is the shade Parallel. So I wanted something that could be like a, springy look, but not be too pastel. So I think we'll enjoy having this dark brown as well. So I'm excited to see what the possibilities are with this. Again, I will probably pull in a shimmer or two from the palette, but I'm gonna make these the star of the show. Ooh, okay, what a swatch fest. Now that is my top 10 palettes for spring. I am very excited to do this little Instagram series, if you will. So I'm gonna have to have a hashtag so that I can make sure that you guys can check that out. Or if you want to play along, if you have one of these palettes, if you wanna do a look with the shades that I swatched, that would be even more amazing. So why don't we do KBR Spring? 
So I'll pop that up right here, KBR, so it'll be Keep Beauty Real, Spring, and we can all follow each other. So I would love to have you hop in. If you have one of these palettes, use the shades that I swatched. I would love to see your looks and make sure to tag me as well. That way I can pop it up on my stories. We can really have fun with this. I am very excited to be more interactive with you guys on Instagram. So please follow along if you would like to. Now, one more thing that I wanted to include is something which, I don't know, I feel like I've already bitten off a lot just by having these 10 palettes to do looks from, but it's okay. I mean, 10 palettes is only 10 days. We have way more than 10 days in the spring, so it should be a lot of fun. But there's one palette that's in my collection that I haven't used yet, and I think it's going to be great for spring. Now, I think I'm probably gonna use this one, rolling more from spring into summer, but it'll still be in spring. And this is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. Now, this was one of the choices in the Instagram Picks My Makeup, but the other palette, the Club Nebbio palette, won out. So I haven't actually even used this palette yet, but you guys, ah, I mean, these shades are so fun. And I honestly have had great luck with my Ace Beauté palette so far. I have a bronzer palette and one of the eyeshadow palettes. Actually, I think I have two eyeshadow palettes and I've really enjoyed them so far. So let's go ahead and pick some shades from this to use and I can try it out. Woo, mama. <laughs> Check out these shades. Now you can see why I said more from like spring into summer. Now I'll be honest, I will wear any color any time of year, but I do think that the intensity that these seem to have by swatching, like I said, I haven't played with it yet, but oh, that is gonna be such a fun color story. I knew right away that the top shade, that really beautiful, like deep orchid, that is flip flops. I was like, yes, please, I need to put that on my face. And then we have the shade Picnic, which is that like, it's, it's like that almost like watermelony coral pink. Uh, I don't know if that's actually a good descriptor, but I'm gonna go with it. And then the last one is Stargazing, which is this really pretty orangey shade. I am gonna love using these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna use this one soon just to play with it because it is so inspiring. Okay, now that is finally it. We are done with all of the spring palettes that I'm gonna be playing with. I hope you guys found this helpful in some way. Maybe it either encouraged you to pull out some palettes that you wanna play with this spring. If you have some of these palettes, maybe just like seeing the swatches is gonna like, I don't know, spark your creative fire. Like I said, I would love it if you would join me in the KBR spring hashtag. Don't forget to tag me with your looks, but I do hope no matter what that you are just inspired to pull out your palettes and get ready for spring. I'm very excited to play with some color, to have some beautiful shimmery fun looks. I'm here for it. Today it snowed, it snowed. I hope it is gonna be the last time we get snow, but if not, I'm just gonna start putting spring colors all over my face. So that is it for today, you guys. Again, thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend you think that would find some inspiration from it, and I will see you really soon.